I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, we're going to take a look at the whammy effect in the pitch block. Before we do that, though, I'm using my ADA MP1 inspired preset that I have shared on Axchange. You can go and grab this one and watch my video about it on my channel. I'm playing a Harley Benton Dullahan at the moment. And although the amp settings look weird, this sounds pretty good because I'm just basically using the amp for gain and as a fairly neutral Marshall style tone stack and we are shaping it with a parametric EQ. I'm using good old LTTV mix number seven and I've got a bit of London plate reverb. So pretty standard stuff for me. Let's hear this. <laughs> Lots of gain, lots of crunch, lots of fun to be had there. I will put a link to that one in the video description, but we're here to talk about the whammy effect in here. So let's drop a pitch block at the start of the grid on here. I'm already using pitch block number one in this preset. If you're on an FM9 or an FM3, there is only one pitch block available. So you will have to use pitch block number one. But for now, I'm just gonna drop it in and you can see that I've already got the classic whammy set up. There are several options with the classic whammy effect type. You've got one or two octaves up, one or two octaves down or a combination in there. Let's just start with a classic one octave up. And we'll have a listen to what it does. As you would expect, it's giving me a whole octave up and it does have that kind of goofy pitch shifted effect in there. We can try one octave down. <laughs> But the whole fun with a whammy style effect is being able to go from your unpitch shifted signal to something like an octave up or an octave down on here. So what we wanna do is utilize the control parameter and assign it to something like an expression pedal. I've got a Fractal FC12 down here and I've got the Fractal EV1 expression pedal connected to pedal jack number one. So let's roll with this one octave down to start with. I'm going to right click the control parameter over here and let's select FC1 pedal number one. If you are using a different pedal input, just point this to whatever input you are using for your expression pedal. So if I do that, well, you can see now that by moving my expression pedal with my foot, I can sweep through this range. <laughs> Only thing with this approach though, is that I've got to activate that pitch block to start with, but we can use auto engage to get around that. And this is personally the way I would run a whammy style effect. That way, when I don't want the effect, rather than have the control at zero and having the pitch block processing my guitar sound, I actually just want the pitch block completely off. Very easy to set up. We'll go back to the modifier and we'll just set up auto engage. I generally like something like a medium speed on here. So it's independent of the position. I'm gonna leave the off value at 5%. So now I'm heel down on my expression pedal and the pitch block is deactivated. As soon as I move forward, you can see that the control parameter is gonna come up and the pitch block is gonna be activated. So I get this. <laughs> Personally though, I prefer the advanced whammy type in here. So let's go on type and we'll select advanced whammy. What I like about this is it's really easy to set up the overall range to other intervals, like say a tone or a perfect fifth. And if you set the pitch tracking to smooth, you can pitch shift chords polyphonically, which is pretty cool. So as an example, let's do this. Let's start with the start value at zero and we'll have the stop value say at seven. So seven semitones are a perfect fifth. Check this out. I've still got auto engage on here. <laughs> Oh, 
Alternatively, I could do like say a whole tone up on here and I've got the pitch tracking on smooth so I could play some chords. <laughs> Lastly, if you don't have an expression pedal, but you do have an FC controller, you can assign a momentary control switch to the control parameter on here and tweak the attack and release on the modifier to get some similar behavior, like a whammy ricochet style thing. So what I've done is I have set up the start value to zero, the stop value to 12. Let's right click on here and we'll set the modifier source to be say control switch number four. Now on my FC controller, I've set up that control switch to be a momentary control switch. So it's only activated when I press it and hold it. Let's actually go back in here and you can see I've tweaked it. So the attack is at 120 milliseconds and the release is at 50 milliseconds. That means it'll take 120 milliseconds once I've pressed the pedal and held it to come up to that octave up value and it will take 50 milliseconds to come back down. You can experiment with these values, but they're my go-to settings on here. So check this out. <laughs> layer on say some pitch detune, some delay, some chorus, maybe a bit of a boost, this can create an absolutely wild lead sound. <laughs> You can also play around with the mix control on here so that you can blend the pitch shifted signal with your normal unprocessed signal. This is pretty cool, especially for just straight octave up and down effects. <laughs> If you've got any other questions or requests, let me know in the comment section below. The preset that I've been using will be linked in the video description along with my custom IRs. I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you all on next Tuesday's Tuesday Tone Tip. Take it easy.